This is Scuffy, and I've been grooming him for at least seven years. I kind of lose track of my Petco time, but I've been grooming him for quite a while, and I call him my boyfriend because he and I are basically in love, and he never denies me kisses. He says, okay, I'll give you more kisses, but um, on the condition that I can just go back into my house, please. Thank you. Sorry, Scuffy. We have a job to do, and... Love breaks aside, we gotta do it. He has kind of an interesting coat. We used to clip him pretty short. Um, this was back in my Petco days where I would just basically do whatever anybody wanted. So we kind of maintain his shortness. He gets these weird little fuzzy flyaways that his family would prefer just to be evened out. So I like to brush him out with my comb just to check for any undercoat spots, which Dad keeps them very, very maintained at home, so he doesn't have anything really that comes off. He says, this, this feels kind of nice. I think, I think I can handle this grooming stuff if this is all we're doing. And as you can see, I'm not really getting very much off of him. Just a little sprinkling of hair, nothing major. Every dog owner should have a comb. Um, aside from super smooth coated dogs, you need your comb to check to make sure there's no undercoat tufts, um, especially behind the ears where dogs can develop what I like to call love knots because, you know, we like to give our dogs scritches behind the ears. It really makes sure that you're not missing any areas and make sure that the dog's oil is distributed and there's no matting that can develop. He likes to get pretty comfortable when I'm combing him. He says, excuse me, Dutch, that's my tail. I think, I think I'm just gonna lay down here for a minute because I'm pretty relaxed. And uh, you could just move this, this lead out of the way because I'm not even using it. So you can just, just go ahead and take that off of there so that I can just not have it sitting on the back of my head. Thanks, that, I really appreciate that. And uh, yeah, yes, let's stop for a love break because I'm being a very good, good, handsome boy. Scuffy is such a chill guy and we just, some dogs I have this very strong connection to, Scuffy is one of them and I just love him so much. He has these little Grinch toes and I like to use my finger to pull the hair up from in between the toes and I use my scissors to trim the little flyaways and he says well this is gonna make my feet look kind of nice I'm pretty sure that I did kind of a rough trim on his feet before the bath I'm notoriously like bad at feet so I'll do feet at the beginning of the groom just to get some of the hair off and then after I blow dry them the excess I that I missed on the the dry cut I guess um his feet are dry but Anyway, it just makes sure that I'm a little bit more detailed in terms of not missing feet. I usually do feet last when I'm doing my haircuts, and um, I tend to be a little, <laughs> you know, I get kind of lazy towards the end, so I think that that's the reason I'm like ready to be done with the groom, and I think that's the reason that my feet, my feet game is, foot game, my foot game is not, you know, the best. I really have to make a conscious effort to be a little bit more detailed when it comes to the feet and um, that's why I do the foot trim in the beginning and then I trim them again and then I'll probably go back before he's done and clean up anything I missed. So if you've been with me a while you know that I don't normally shave a double coated dog but like I said he's been with me for years and now we just do a cleanup of his little fuzzies. When I worked at corporate I basically just had to do anything that the client wanted. Um, I could educate them as much as I could, um, but there were some dogs and that I love that you know ended up getting clipped. And now we just maintain getting rid of his little flyaways. And you can see that it's literally like taking a quarter of an inch of hair off. It's not anything crazy. And with the years of him being clipped, um, it just kind of cleans them up now at this point. We just kind of make him look even. I'm using a two guard comb on him, which is three eighths of an inch. And a two guard is a pretty 
good go-to when you're not really sure what to do when a client's like, I want them short but not shaved or I want the puppy cut. Um, it kind of is just the guard comb right before you would go to a blade and it takes a good amount off and leaves a good amount of hair left so that they don't look overcut, if that makes sense. So a lot of people like little white dogs, they'll have really pink skin and the, a lot of clients don't want their pink skin to show. So a two guard takes them down pretty short. It makes it easy to maintain um, without showing that pink underneath. Another thing that I really love about having my own business is that I can just let the dogs be in whatever position they want to be in. And granted, it is a little difficult to work around the table because there's the wall there, but the table does turn around. But usually they're just pretty relaxed and I feel like a relaxed dog is a more compliant dog and he really enjoys his love breaks as much as I love giving love breaks to him because he's just the best boy. I'm just doing a once over again with my comb. I like to do the tail in bits and pieces just because sometimes there's tangles there as you can see I'm trying to get something out and I don't know he had a little knot there. Um, because I don't like to just focus on one area, even though I probably should for time reasons. But um, if there's an area that needs to be detangled, I'll just do it gradually so that it's not like one big thing. When they're relaxed, it's really easy to kind of manipulate them. And he says, okay, I guess I'll stand up for dish if you really need me to. But uh, I, I think that I would just prefer to lay back down, but we'll meet halfway and I'll just sit down and stay in. When I did my bus tour thing, I forgot to show you guys my laundry chute, and I don't know, while I was combing him, I guess I remembered that I forgot to show you guys that, so um, this is a towel, <laughs> and uh, this is a little compartment that goes to the back of the bus, and it has a basket back there, and you just toss it in, and um, I was trying to do it with one hand, but there we go. And yeah, so it collects all the dirty towels in the back. So when I go do my towel, he says, what was that all about? That's such a random part of the video. Um, but here I am, this is, this is my outfit for, for the month. And uh, thanks for watching. My name's Scuffy, okay, bye. Thank you guys for all of your kind words. And I love reading your comments and thanks for watching my videos. And I know I haven't been posting as much but um I'm getting there and uh, we'll figure stuff out eventually <laughs> love you guys